On the field with head coach Greg Nesbitt. Coach, first of all, this is a tough pill to swallow, but it was a bad one. Uh, I just witnessed, you know, this 32 years, Matt. I've been around some great, great contests, and, you know, I don't get into, uh, thanks, I don't get into saying this was the best game, but it ranks right up there with as good an effort and a, just a great, great battle and competitive battle. Both teams really went at it, and uh, exciting game for the fans. Unfortunately, the bad guys won. Yeah, sometimes games like this, unfortunately, come down to one more play, and Pitt made one more play tonight. They really did. Uh, you know, they did a nice job executing their two-minute. Uh, we didn't do a real good job. Our defense, as well as they played the entire game, just played their hearts out, uh, perhaps panicked a little bit right there at the end. Uh, uh, they, they perhaps panicked. We had a great play made by Donald Harvey and, and uh, Andy Munwiller. Uh, pump blocks. I mean, there were so many, so many great things that happened. And, uh, but it's a long season, and uh, we certainly have shown the type of football team that we're capable of being. We're a long ways from where we were two weeks ago with Northwest Missouri State. Very encouraging signs, and uh, you know, sooner or later we're going to start winning you know, some of these football games. Talk about a little more about the incredible effort of your defense. You forced five Pittsburgh State turnovers in the first half. Uh, I thought our defensive ends, I thought Pat Blackwell and, and uh, Nick Abadi, I thought Matt Smith, uh, and Jacoby Britt did a fantastic job of uh, uh, playing with great technique and perhaps confusing uh, their very, very fine option quarterback. Perhaps not. Maybe they just, uh, the ball was slipping out. But uh, great technique on the option. Uh, we hit and tackled and ran the ball. Uh, we've done that now for six quarters, and hopefully we can do it for the rest of the year. Offense kind of stalled out on you in the third quarter against arguably the best defense. Statistically, through first, the first two weeks, the best defense in the league. Uh, we had our hands full, uh, not going to lie. They were, we knew that coming in. They were very, very fine, solid defense. Coach Weimer's down there, does a great job, and, and uh, uh, we knew it was going to be, be a battle and a struggle. What we couldn't do was turn the ball over and really kind of negated uh, all those takeaways that we had in the first half to some extent. Well, I know this one's going to sting for a little bit, but you got to get back to the grind and uh, right back at it, head to Warrensburg next Saturday. What do you know about Central so far? Uh, very little. You know, I, I, I shouldn't say that. I, I mean, I know they're kids. I recruited sure. probably 20 of them, but uh, <laughs> haven't looked at them structurally or any of that type of stuff. And, uh, you know, we'll have our pity party tonight, and we'll get back tomorrow at uh, treatment tomorrow at noon and, and uh, go to work with uh, corrections at 4 o'clock. And we said, hey, win or lose, that's what we're going to do. And it's a, it's a marathon uh, a football season, and you're either getting better or worse. And, and uh, hopefully our guys will bounce right back tomorrow and, and continue improving as they've done thus far. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck next week. You bet, man. Thank you. Brett? You bet. Hey, uh, uh, hey Don. Do I just push uh, Matt? Do I push record? Uh, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I think so, maybe. Okay.